Hello and welcome. I want to speak to you about how you can attract more sponsors, more sponsorships, and just more financial support in your life as an athlete and for your career as an athlete, okay? I want to give you three tips because let me tell you something. It, let's, be, let's not kid ourselves here. We don't only need the support of our parents and our coaches and the school. We also need financial support because, you know, some of this stuff is expensive. You have traveling, you have the material, you have training camps, you have accommodation, you have good food, you have all these things, you have a cost of living, and, and that adds up, right? And actually, as an athlete, you have this wonderful opportunity. You already, you know, people know you. You're a role model to other, other people, to kids. So you have all these opportunities to, in, if you want, monetize or get supporters on your side that will help you in your dream. And we're going to speak about three things that you can do to attract, you know, new sponsors, new sponsorships. And you just have to know one thing. If that task of, getting new sponsors, getting financial help seems difficult to you or hard to you, that doesn't mean that it is the truth. It might seem hard to you because you don't know how to do it, okay? And that's why I want to give you three tips because when you see how you can do it, all of a sudden it will be, it will be easy, okay? And I give you one of the examples before we get into the three tips is I was at a seminar with one of my, my, my coaches, my mentors, Bob Proctor. And he's an 87 year old man and we were in the seminar and he asked who had a headache because it was a long seminar and there was two people that had a headache. So he went to the first person and he started pushing and he was pushing hard because you can see he's getting like red in the face, pushing hard like 10 seconds like this and then 10 seconds like that, okay? and then. He's saying the headache is gone. And guess what? The person said the headache is gone and the whole seminar was like, whoa, how did he do it? Okay. Then he went to the second person. He said, relax, relax. And he did the same thing. 10 seconds like that, 10 seconds like this. And again, the headache was gone and the room was, whoa, how did you do that? Wow, crazy, right? And then he explained, because he was just driving home that point that for, for us, something looks difficult, hard, impossible. It's just, we don't know how. And how what he was saying is that he learned from the people that go, you know, in airspace from astronauts, I don't know if space, space people or whatever, that headache is often nothing different but too much blood in the brain and it goes woof, 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 woof. And that throbbing causes the pain. So by pushing really hard on your head, what happens is the blood goes back in the body and the headache is gone. Right, And when we knew that, we we're like, okay, it makes total sense. So it's not magic. It's just he had more knowledge. And, and I was in Egypt the, uh, the other week and my brother, I had a headache and I asked my brother to do that for me. And guess what? Headache was gone. Like I swear to God, headache was gone. It's absolutely beautiful. But what seemed to be like magic and hard work, you know, once you know how to do it, it's like, boom, and you can do it. Okay, and attracting sponsorships, attracting financial help is exactly the same. So let's dive into the three points, three tips that I have. So the first one is you got to know, man, you got to know what you want. Okay, this is number one. And is we got to know what you want, because if you have a dream, just think if I am, I, hey, I'm David. Yeah, I swim. I train eight times a week. And uh, yeah, my favorite uh, races the 200 freestyle and yeah I also go to school yeah I don't know I might want to you know be, be a banker and I'm, I'm not so sure yeah yeah swimming is good I have friends we hang out I'm like, there's no inspiration in that but if I come hey my name is David I train nine times a week I freaking love it I get in the pool at six in the morning you know we do weights we swim six kilometers per training my goal is to win a gold medal in the Olympics I eat well I want to go to training trips but I, I just like I don't have the money at the moment I'm looking for sponsors that help me get there that support me that believe in me and you know like there is a dream there is an inspiration and people love helping but you gotta inspire them and that starts with you knowing what you want and having a dream having a big dream being inspired 
and be inspiring. Okay, and and that is really it, it is so important because we feel attracted to people who have a vision, who know where they're going, who bet on themselves, who believe in themselves. Right. So first, you got to know what you want and why you need sponsors. Why you want to? It could be that you want to reach more people. You want to have them give you shirts, and you want to, you know, uh, have raise your brand awareness. Whatever it is for you, but you got to know what you want and why you want it. Okay. Number one. Then number two is you want to expand your network. Now this has never been easier than today. In today's world online, I mean, I had a chat with somebody out of Australia this morning and it was a wonderful chat. Those 45 minutes were bam, was over like that. It is so easy to connect. Like you, you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook. I would recommend LinkedIn because LinkedIn has a little bit of a, a business touch to it. It's like, and the average person I heard, you know, on Instagram makes like 25,000 a year and the average person on LinkedIn makes like 120,000 a year. So there's a different vibe to it. But as an athlete, you can sp still be very like cool and relaxed on LinkedIn. At least that's what I found that's working for me. And you have these wonderful search functions there in LinkedIn that you can, you know, have people from the sports industry and you can do people that work with big brands that, you know, you can search for Under Armour, Nike, whatever. You got to be creative, but, but, but it goes back to point number one. You got to know what you want, right? And when you know what you not want, like what to do will become obvious to you. You will find out what to do, but I'm just saying connecting is easier than it's ever been. You can just hop on a call now in, in like literally in a minute and, you know, just have a chat and, and then you communicate your dream, but your dream has to go out there. And for that, you have to expand your network, okay? Because the universe, you know, spiritual teachers, what they're saying is, and that's so beautiful, they're saying that the universe wants to help you more than you want what you want. And that's really nice, but the universe needs a bit of time to arrange itself for you. So you got to go out there and you got to, you got to say what the dream is. If people got to know if you're just sitting in bed, chilling in bed, nothing is going to happen, right? So you want to speak to people and that is literally now easier than ever because you can connect all around the world within minutes, okay? And what you'll find is that when you have a dream, when you have a big why, People feel inspired and they actually want to help because it's in, in the human nature to help. And I'm, I'm sure you had that experience, haven't you? When you helped somebody else, maybe you coached somebody, maybe you showed some the next generation on, you know, or maybe you gave a teammate a tip. Maybe you, you could add value to the coach to see a new angle that he hasn't, he or she hasn't seen before. Right. And that feels good because we enjoy supporting and helping others. But again, if, you know, if I'm to hire somebody in my business and somebody comes with a vision, what they want and how they can add value and how, you know, enthusiastic they are and passionate about it, I'm very likely to hire them. But if they come and they don't know where they're going, and they're like, yeah, you know, yeah, your life is good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. There's no inspiration in that. So you got to be clear and then go out, expand the network. That's two. And then number three, and this is one of the skills that it is, it is so important to, to learn and to master really is learn to ask because there is a big, 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 huge, huge paradox is this. If you have this level of awareness and somebody else has this level of awareness, then this person here knows exactly what's going on here because that person has been here. But the person here doesn't know what's going on here. It's like, it feels like a void. It's like, wow, how, you know, crazy. How does, how do they do it? Right? And the paradox is that a lot of these people here, they don't ask the people here how they do it. Now you can ask the question, why? Well, it's like, it could be the ego. It could be a fear of rejection. It could be a fear of not knowing how the other person will react. It could be the fear of, be feeling stupid, but whatever it is, I mean, you got to get over it because to go from here to here, 
the fastest way is to ask the person that's done it and go, just go woof right there. And then uh, guess what? You're going to be here and you find another person and you go do that right again. And you do it again and again. You become comfortable asking. And when you're asking with inspiration, with energy, with enthusiasm, and with the, with the expectation of success, guess what? That's what you're going to create. That's what you're going to create. So you got to learn how to ask. And I, I, another story of, of the seminar, same seminar, there was a Prudential Financial or insurance on It's one of the biggest insurance companies in America. They had, they have over 20,000 salespeople, okay, insurance salespeople. And their number one guy, he got a, an award uh, for being the number one guy. This guy sold millions, if not hundreds of millions of insurance in a, day, in a year, not a day, in a year, okay? And he was at, at the seminar and Bob had him come on stage and he asked him a few questions. And the question that he asked, he asked, how many of the 20,000 salespeople in your company in the last year invited you to a breakfast or a lunch with six or more prepared questions on why you're so successful? The answer? Nada. Zip. Nobody. Okay? I mean, you know... It, yeah, nobody. You can ask the question why. I'm just, you know, it, there's all kinds of reasons. And honestly, I don't really care. I just want, don't want you to be the guy to not do it. I want you to be comfortable to ask. Ask for help. Ask for, ask for, for, for money. Ask for support. Ask, ask, ask. Become comfortable with it because it's the fastest way from here to here. And the sooner you learn that skill, master the skill, the more, you know, the faster your life will go because you'll meet cool people that you can learn from everywhere you go. They're all around us. We can learn something from anybody that we meet. And it's actually often not the answers that we have, but the quality of questions that we ask that will make us successful in the long run, okay? So just keep that in mind. So let's repeat real quick. We said, you gotta know what you want. That's number one. You gotta like be able to articulate your dream and what you want. Then number two is you wanna expand your network. And that has never been easier. Now we're in this online world. You can literally connect with anybody, like top, top, top level. Um, you can, you know, somebody working in the store, it doesn't matter. Everybody is on some kind of social media. It's up to you to find them and to connect in a light, cool, um, open way, okay? But you can do that. And then number three is learn to ask because that will be one of those skills that will accelerate your success, your fulfillment, your happiness, your learning, your growth. Just like, I, I just can't think of anything else at the moment. I will accelerate it faster than that. And just think about it as an athlete, you'll know that. It's, if when you have a coach, you, and you hopefully you do have a coach, and you trust the coach, they want the best for you, you're giving the best as well. It's like without the coach, you wouldn't have this, the progress, like the same speed of, you know, like, yeah, speed of progress. You just wouldn't. And so... It's the same everywhere else, everywhere else in life, right? You're asking the coach for feedback and you get feedback and you implement it. And you want to learn how to ask every, everywhere, literally everywhere, right? And you'll find, you know, you'll find that people, they want to help. They really do. And if you have a good dream, if you have a good story, if you know why you're doing it, you're going to get those sponsorships, okay? So do me a favor and uh, try, go and implement these things. Work on your dream, um, expand your network, and for sure, learn to ask, okay? I hope that was helpful. And I also want to remind you, I'm running the World Class Confidence Workshop from May 24 to 28. The registration, it's all free. It's an hour a day. And, you know, that will, oops, I'm still here. Really, we're going to work on confidence, only confidence. And I believe that confidence, we can't have enough of it. And it will, it will be so transformative in that week if we're working together. 
that it will look like like magic it's it's going to be magical okay so sign up for that i'll leave the link below if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel please do and give me a like of the video if you enjoyed and now go ahead and get the sponsor all right i wish you a great weekend and i'll see you soon all right bye bye